Hello everyone, my name is Kodamore and welcome back to Godot Basics. Once you open up a project in Godot, you'll be presented with the Godot editor. And this is made up of a few different parts. These parts can move around, but this is the default layout. Some of the terminology you might hear is your scene tree. Your scene tree is found over here under the scene tab. This will list all the different nodes that are a part of a scene. Next, there's the file system tab. Every Godot project comes with its own file system, so to say. And that begins with a folder called res, which stands for resources. You can create folders in this res folder, and you can also save your scenes inside of this folder, as well as anything else your game might need. Next, in the top center of the screen is the view that's going to be changing a bit. You can see the different modes at the top center of the screen. This is 2D mode. This will show you your currently selected scene, in my case it's called main scene, and what's in it. Of course, there's nothing in it right now, so it's pretty much just a blank canvas. You can move the scene around by holding your middle mouse button, and that will pan the scene around. You can also zoom by scrolling in and out. There's also a 3D scene view that you can access via this button at the top, or if you have a 3D node selected. This will show you your 3D worldview, which you can move around similarly by holding down the middle mouse button, zooming with it, and what you might find as common 3D controls. There's also the script view. This will open up your GD script editor where you can edit all of your code files for your game. You'll notice that if I click my node 2D in the scene tree, it'll immediately switch to the 2D view again. Next is the inspector on the right hand side here. This will show you the current settings for whatever node you have selected in the scene tree. These will change based on what node you have selected. There's also something called the node tab up here, which will bring up something called signals for the node. We will get much more in depth to this also, and something called groups. Finally, we have this bottom portion of the screen, which is our output window, debugger, and any other tools that Godot might create for us, depending upon what node we have selected. For example, there's an animation tab, which opens up the animator. Our output tab, however, will show us the current output of Godot and our game when it runs. And that's the basics of the Godot editor.